Hello book nerds! Welcome to Bookshelf Bunny. I'm Kim and today we'll be doing a short review on Shit My Dad Says. Okay guys, so I want to start by apologizing. My space is sort of a disaster right now and it probably will be for at least the rest of November. You know, life. I've sort of got some projects going on at the moment in addition to NaNoWriMo, my laptop all set up. NaNoWriMo. This little guy is my plot bunny. Yeah, I have problems. Um, so in addition to NaNoWriMo, I am also doing a lot of sewing. Kind of see in the background there. And it's just a giant pain in the butt for me to put everything away just to film some videos and then bring it all back out again. So here it is, my life. Uh, I'll give you an idea. I've been doing a lot of face masks. Here's one that I did recently. It's for my niece and it says goosebumps, kind of hard to see because of the pleat, but yeah, yay. I've been doing a bunch of these. I've got a bunch of bookish fabrics that I've been working on. This is the one that I used to make hers. I ordered it from a fabulous shop on Etsy. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to take a peek. I got this, fun little flying books. It's so pretty. I made a couple masks already. You can see on my bookstagram account, Instagram, Bookstagram, you know what I'm talking about. I also have this one. Are we upside down? We're upside down. So cute. Book nerd. How do you not love these fabrics? They're so fun. So I've been doing a lot of face mask making, hence my giant stack of fabric. <laughs> and if that isn't enough, you know, NaNoWriMo sewing. I'm also reading through this monster. This is my first of my winter fantasy TBRs, the second book in this series. I am not very far yet, as you can see, because of <laughs> NaNoWriMo. <laughs> Anywho, let's get into our review. I read Shit My Dad Says by Justin Halpern, and I just gotta say that this is a really fun it's a fun book that really highlights the loving but awkward relationship between a sort of gruff, no-nonsense father and his maybe a little more sensitive son. The intro of this book tells us sort of a short story about how uh, Justin Halpern, as a 28-year-old adult, suddenly finds himself needing to move back in with his parents because he moved for a job thinking he could live with his girlfriend and then his girlfriend dumped him because life. <laughs> so he moves back in with his parents as an adult. During this time he shares a tweet that quotes something that his father says and it's hilarious and witty and he just can't believe it came out of his dad's mouth and so he just throws it out there on the Twitterverse and then it blows up and it turns into what we have now, a book and also a TV show starring William Shatner who just as an aside is very fitting for the role of gruff, awkward father, slightly grumpy. I've met the guy in real life. He's, it's kind of his real personality a little. <laughs> so that was a great role for him. As we go through the book, it explores the complex relationship between an emotionally constipated father <laughs> who loves his son, but sort of has a hard time showing it. Uh, so he does it in his no-nonsense gruff quotes. It's absolutely hilarious and often surprisingly really touching. Um, I have to say that as I was going through this book, I got the feels, guys. I really got the feels. It was really unexpected too because I picked it up looking for a short, fun, humorous book to pass the time with in the summer. And it just it hit me in the heart, guys. It really did. It's just a beautiful story about a father and a son. It really got me thinking about how much I appreciate my own father, um, who is, just for the record, nothing like Justin Halpern's father. 
my dad is a little more like me. Um, he's very introverted, he's very polite. You'll be lucky to hear an obscene word come out of his mouth. <laughs> but he's still a father and he goes out of his way to show his love, just like Justin Halpern's dad in his own gruff, fatherly way. <laughs> this book is also a fun peek into the past, um, the nostalgia of growing up in the 70s and 80s. I myself am an 80s baby. Mostly my childhood was in the 90s though, because aging myself publicly for YouTube, that's good. But a lot of what he describes is similar to my own childhood. So there was also a lot of nostalgia brought to me from that portion of the book as well. If you are looking for a short, feel good, fun book, definitely pick up Shit My Dad Says by Justin Halpern. You will be pleasantly surprised. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Has anyone read Shit My Dad Said or watched the show or both? I've not watched a lot of the show, so I, I can't really give it a accurate comparison between book and TV show. I'd be curious to know if you guys feel it stood up to the book. All right, book nerds, that's it for me. And as always, happy reading.